All right, I'm on my lunch break from work to film this, so let's roll right into that intro and get into this bins haul. Hey guys, it's me Kay and you've arrived in my weird little corner of the internet. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm a part-time reseller mostly on eBay and Poshmark. I do sell locally at an antique mall and on other online platforms such as Mercari, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. And this is a Friday Thrift Finds video. This is a bins haul edition. I've been doing lots of bins hauls on this channel since I try to go at least once a month. Um, it helps me reduce my overall cost of goods. We love to see that. Um, on this trip, I went to the New Hampshire bins on February 11th. I spent $55.10 for 27 and a half pounds of textiles. My textiles are $2 a pound. And then I got one book for 0.2 pounds worth that equaled out to 10 cents because it's 50 cents a pound for that. So let's get started with the book because there's only one. It's just this tiny little, there is nothing like a cat book. It's really cute. I don't know when it's from. Um, 1968, but it's got like little sketches of cats in there. And I just thought it was so cute. So not sure if I'm gonna keep this, probably will, but if not, it would end up going to the antique booth. I did get one whole bag of shoes. It's a smaller bag. I also got this bag and the bins um and let's go through those next here's ooh, what she looks like in there i did find quite a few pairs of birkenstocks i did put the thrift with me as a short up on this channel from this day and i found two very 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 best busted pairs of birkenstocks but these i did get they're in really good condition these will not be for sale however because they are my size and so i am keeping them they are just the normal two strap style, not platform. Um, it's like a kind of faded black leather. So I'm really excited for these to be my new pair of Burks. Not that I need any more because I already have quite a few. Next, I found a very dirty pair of Hoka's. I love selling Hoka's. I've sold, I think, every pair that I have ever purchased except for maybe one that might still be kicking around. These are the women's Bondi 7 and they're in a size women's 7. These will just get put in like an oxy clean soak and then I will list them. There is a little tear right here that my nail is kind of in right now but other than that they're just dirty. I did grab these even though I probably should have left them, but these are on cloud. The brand is on running, but uh, these are one of the cloud models. These are a women's eight and a half. There's some damage here. Again, really dirty. It's very rare to find pristine shoes at the bins, at least in the one I go to. This one has a very large hole in the back of the heel there and another one there, but structurally they're fine. So I think someone will still want them to just, you know, kick around in. These for sure contributed to my cost of goods because these are pretty heavy. Um, and these are a size men's 13. I don't know what this, it says Dr. Martin's Boston. So I, I don't know if Boston is the style. It's been a while since I've sold docs. Um, but you can see the signature stitching there. Um, these are not made in England, I don't think. I know the made in England ones can fetch a higher amount, but yeah, men's 13, and they're in fairly good condition other than they need a little bit of, you know, just a wipe down. Two more pairs of shoes. First we have kind of like a Birkenstock adjacent brand called Naot or Naot. I've never been sure how to say this. It's N-A-O-T. But even the foot pads look pretty identical to a Birkenstock with the cork. Um, you can see again the brand name there. I have fairly good luck selling this brand and these are a size um, 10. It says, oh sorry, 40 and ladies 9. So even the sizing is pretty similar to Birkenstocks. 
And then last for shoes, I got these, which I did show in the Thrift With Me short, if you've seen it. These, I love selling this brand. The brand is Vivo Barefoot. I think this is maybe the third or fourth time I've picked it up. All the other times, except for once, the first time I ever found it, were at the bins. And these will probably go for 65 to 70. They're in good shape. They just need like a minor cleanup, but yeah. Vivo Barefoot, and these are a 41 in men's. All right, let's move on to textiles and other stuff. Okay, first we have something that's going straight to my antique booth. I pick these up every time I find them, unless they're completely trashed. This is just a Mexican blanket, and I will probably get 18 to 20 for this at my antique booth. All right, I have two items to share with you that are not technically from this day. They are from the bins, but I found them hidden in the back of my Jeep. I have like a little organizer, I guess, in the back of my Jeep. And I went in there to put something in there to give to a friend next time I run into her. And I found these hidden in there. They must have fell out of the bag. And so I don't know which binge trip they are from, but for all intents and purposes, we're throwing them in this one because yeah, I don't know. But this is an activewear brand I don't often find. It's just a tank top. I don't pick up tanks really unless it's from the bins anymore. It's got like this cutout in the back. And if you could see the little glimpse of the logo, here it is. The name of the brand is called Lorna Jane. This does not have a size if I recall. Um, the fabric tag has been removed, which I think had the size at some point but I will just measure this and list it. Probably not gonna get much for that, 15 to 18. And then we have another tank top by Intimately Free People. This is a size extra small slash small. And this is just like a little basic stretchy cami with the V-neck, nothing special. But yeah, so we're gonna throw those into <laughs> this haul because I don't know when they're from. All right, this piece, is damaged but I might send it into their like uh, pre-owned program so the brand is Patagonia all of you watching this are probably familiar with Patagonia at this point this is a size small so I might send this into their well well worn program uh, and get a few dollars I don't know what they are giving at this moment for something like this a pullover I think this is a half zip or a quarter zip, I can never tell the difference, to be honest with you. Um, but it does have, it's gonna be really hard to show on camera, but like this, it's purple, oh, you can see it, okay. So it's supposed to be like this lighter purple color, but I don't know if it like got bleached or otherwise damaged, but the whole sleeve is like that. So maybe they can repurpose it. It also has considerable pilling on this sleeve right here where my fingers are. So we'll see if maybe I can send it to them and then get like a 15, 10 to $15 credit. Even that would just be nice and then I can maybe buy something for myself or something for resale. Um, this is another Patagonia piece. This one seems to be in good shape though and it's from Regener Regenerate Regenerative <laughs> Organic Certified Pilot Cotton. It's a size small. And it's just a pullover. Pretty basic. Patagonia doesn't do as good for me as it used to in the past, unfortunately. And I think most resellers feel the same way about that, but it's still a good find, especially so at the bins. Okay, this bins day, by the way, was not the best. The last couple times, so both times that I've been to the New Hampshire location in 2024 have not been great. We didn't find any Lululemon. I go with my friend Jess every time uh, for the most part. And yeah, we didn't find any Lululemon between the two of us, so we kind of had to make do, like I said in my last bins haul video, just to make the trip worth it. So I grabbed a couple things that I normally probably would pass on. This is Athleta, older tag, size extra large. There's gonna be a few pieces from Athleta that are older in this haul, but most of them are plus sizes, so that's why I grabbed those. This one kinda of has like a little mock neck action here, a cowl neck. 
and it's a little longer length great size though extra large it does have a pocket and this is from fall of 2016 so yeah definitely wouldn't have picked that up at a traditional thrift store uh, this is a slightly newer Athleta tag. Again, same same applies. This is a 2X though, and I never, like literally never, find plus size activewear. So when I do come across a few, I'm grabbing them. This is from spring of 18, and this is a pair of athletic shorts, like a light gray striped. They have pockets as well. And this is yet another different tag of Athleta, also size 2X, maybe from the same person. At least that would be my assumption. I'm trying to find the date. Spring of 18 also. I think this is a skort, yeah. This one is a skort. So, looks like a skirt, but it's got the shorts built in underneath. These I grabbed because I had picked up a pair of similar ones at the bins a few months ago and they sold really fast um, within like a couple days. This is Juicy Couture Sleepwear Size Medium. Um, in my experience with Juicy Couture, the people want the ones that have the rhinestones on the booty, which these do. It says Juicy, Juicy Booty. So I think I got 22 24 somewhere in that range for the last pair what are you all right this is a great brand bogner um it's kind of like an outdoory brand here's another picture or shot of the tag i found i think three of these in the bins this day but the other two were really badly stained and this one is also stained i'm going to show you in a second but i think maybe i can do a little bit of TLC with this one. So if you look, it's a, just a turtleneck, but you can see there's a lot of discoloration around the whole the whole turtleneck. So this is, I don't know what size. I think there was a white one and like a blue one. This one's just gray. Do you have the size? Size medium. I've sold a couple jackets from this brand. They do did pretty well. I don't think this is gonna go for a lot, and especially not if I can get the if I can't get the turtleneck to look a little better. But again, bins gotta make it work. A different athletic tag. This one's a one X. How many different athletic tags could I find in the same day? So far, we have four. This one is from spring of twenty one. So this one's a little bit newer. It's probably like the, I think this is like the coaster luxe, like asymmetrical or something like that pullover. It's kind of pilly looking, but that's how it's made. If you buy it brand new, that's how it looks as well. It's very soft, kind of feels like a wild fox BBJ, beach baggy jumper, something like that, if you are familiar. Here we go, Athleta again, 2X. This one's from... This one's the same tag as the shorts. This one's from spring of 18. It is like a periwinkle color, very lightweight t-shirt. Good brands and plus sizes, always a win in my book. This I grabbed just because of where I live. <laughs> this is on an NFL equipment Reebok tag which is older because they are Nike sponsored now, size large. Don't know if this is, I think it's a men's large, but it is the GOAT of football, Tom Brady. Don't come for me in the comments if you don't agree that Tom Brady is the GOAT of football. It's okay to be wrong. <laughs> but there is some cracking on his name on the back, but I think someone local will probably want that. And I will probably also list that on Facebook Marketplace to see if someone like I said, Loco wants to pick it up. This I just got for my daughter. I haven't given it to her yet, but it's a Ford official licensed product. It's a 2X, so it's gonna be very oversized on a 15 year old girl, <laughs> but she likes it that way. And she loves things with cars on them. 
Uh, she's got a lot of Chevy and other Ford Mustang tees, so that's for her. All right, this is a brand that I do like to sell, but it hasn't really sold for me well um, recently. This is the Mountain Size Large. This one's not a vintage one because it's a screen printed tag. And also this is a kids size large, but it's so cute with the little train on the front. Um, and the back says Durango and Silverton Narrow Gauge Railroad. So I don't know exactly where that is, but I think it would be cute for some little kid who likes trains. Um, okay, this I grabbed because it was new with tags and it's a plus size. It's got a Stitch Fix tag. The brand, because Stitch Fix sells a bunch of other brands, kind of like, you know, Anthropology, Aritzia, but this is fun to fun. And it's a size 2XL. Just a little pop over with a floral print, three quarter length sleeves. I thought it's really cute. Okay, this is a bag and I have got a bag from the bins from this brand before. It still hasn't sold, but maybe someday I'll find something to go in it and then I can just send it with the purchase. But the brand is Triangle. They are well known for swimwear that's made out of like neoprene. So it's like a scuba material, but this is just like a little, a little bag to put your wet swimsuit in probably. Got another new with tags. This is Savage X Fenty, Riri's brand, and it is a bra. Let me see if I can just clip it up real fast. The size, it's a bigger size, I think. This is a 3X, new with tags. So thank you to whatever amazing plus size lady donated her stuff to the bins this day. You really, you really helped me out on an otherwise not so great bins day. This is a pair of Levi's. I don't know what style these are. They might be a 501 because they have the button fly, but I'll have to do some research. They're very tiny, but just a little black denim cut off short, size 23. Like I said, tiny, tiny people need clothes too. Okay, let's save those for in a second. All right, I've also found this brand one time before at the bins. It was a headband. I haven't sold it yet, um, but it's, I think it's gonna be a hard sell because it's just a headband. But I thought they had just done like kids clothing, but apparently they do adult clothes as well. So the brand is Kate Quinn. I'm pretty sure she uses a lot of like um, sustainable fabrics in her pieces and that's why people like them. This is a size large. I'm not gonna bother buttoning up the front right now, but. It's a short sleeve jumpsuit, very relaxed fit, like a jogger style elastic bottom hem, but it's very accommodating for the bump for a pregnant lady. So hopefully that will do really well. I'm just trying to pull out some, a bunch of stuff. Okay. Next we have something that's going, I'm pretty sure, straight to the real real. This is Michael Kors, Michael Michael Kors, size 2X. So a diffusion line, but I don't bother listing Michael Kors for the most part, unless I found like a bag or something which I could sell myself. But yeah, this is just gonna go straight there. I will probably only make a few dollars, if that, um, based on my recent experience with using them again. Um, more to come on that at some point, but plus size, again, always a good pickup. This is a Kim, the Kim Kardashian's brand. This is Skims. This is the second time I found it at the bins in the last couple months. I think most people just skip over this. Here is the label. It's a size small medium and it is a bodysuit, just like a tan tan neutral bodysuit. If this was a medium large, I might keep it for myself because I've heard good things about skims, but I'm gonna sell it. All right, we have some denim. These I'm excited for. I'm going to list these on Depop as well because I think they'll do well there. 
Um, they are a size 11, which I think is a junior size, but these are a very Y2K, 90s Y2K pair of LEI shorts. Here is the tag. I used to love wearing this brand back in that era when I was a teenager. So they're a little bit longer length too. But yeah, I think, I think these might do okay on Depop. Here's another pair of Levi's. These are a 501. These are a size 28. Here is the Levi's label. They do have a slight bit of wash wear, but nothing crazy. And again, at Ben's prices, you can't really go wrong with a good pair of denim. All right, this, my friend Jess had actually found one piece of this and she gave it to me. Um, I found, I think the bottoms is brand new with tags from Adormi, which I think is also sold on Victoria's Secret. This is a size extra large. 100% missed the boat here because it's red, as you saw. Um, and we already went through Valentine's Day. I don't know how this works. Okay, I think, I think we have it. So these are the bottoms. They're very wide, wide open spaces, okay? I think this is the front. And then the back has the bow for the bootay. <laughs> and then this is the top. The top is way more modest than the back, the bottoms, in my opinion. But hey, no, no judgment at all. Let your freak flag fly. Unfortunately, though, I'm going to have to list them separately because the top is a size medium and the bottoms are a size extra large. But they definitely do go together. So when I list them, I will just say, if you happen to be this size in the top, the matching top, I do have it in my closet. So we'll see what happens there. All right, I have to pause for a second because I'm about to run out of memory and I just have to restart my video. Okay, sorry about that. I haven't moved, but that doesn't mean that the angle isn't slightly different. It's just my camera only allows me to record in like 22 minute segments. So I had to restart my video. All right, this is another thing that I might put on Deep Depop. Oh, this is messed up, hold on. Bear with me a moment. I don't know if these are vintage. I don't know how to date things from this brand, but I do know that some people have recently that I follow on Instagram sold similar to these for over $100. So this is from Oshkosh Bagosh. This is a little pair of denim, like carpenter overalls with a little hammer, hammer hook right here. And these, I don't know what size they are. I don't know if it's even in here. Yeah, these are 18 months from Oshkosh. So I'll have to see if I can figure out when they might be from because the vintage ones do really well from this brand because I don't think they make it anymore. Okay, we have one tie. If you've been around for a little bit, I've been picking up lots of ties at the bins. Um, Jess, my friend that went with me that day, found a whole bunch, like I think seven or eight of the same brand tie, but she must've missed this one. And I ended up picking it up. It's Christian Dior. This is Christian Dior cravats. And this is a silk tie. These are so easy to list, so lightweight to ship. I love selling, I love selling ties. But yeah, it's just like a green with a gold stripe tie. I think that's it for clothes, but I do have a couple other things to show you. Um, I, pick, I pick up dust bags. If you didn't know, I have sold dust bags. Sometimes I find a bag that I can sell and it fits in that bag and then I just sell them together, but I have sold dust bags just by themselves. So this is gonna be hard to see, but it's Dagny Dover. Hopefully you guys, that's in the screen for you. It's like a camo patterned bag. Dagny Dover sells very expensive for no reason bags, <laughs> in my opinion. So I found that small one and I also found this huge one. This is like a luggage bag that probably went in this guy because I have looked at them before in the past to use for like a suitcase or a travel bag. So I will probably list both of those together and then I just, I just do the measurements and I sell them like that. This is going to my antique booth. I might soak it in some Oxy because it's got some pink at the bottom, um, but this is like a little 
hanging plant holder. It's got the, the vintage-y looking wooden buttons. I don't know if they're buttons. They're not really buttons. I don't know what to call them. I'm not good at this game. Uh, but a little woven plant hanger. But like I said, some of the bottom has some pink on it, if you can even see that in like this area right here. So I'm gonna try and oxy soap that and see if that will help at all. I got a little plushie. It's a vintage plush. This is, I think this is, yeah, this is Lil from the Rugrats and she's from 1997, Mattel. I don't know what she's gonna go for, probably not for a lot. She's very dirty, but you know, vintage stuff. Something I could put in the booth if I can't sell it myself. I also picked up some Valentino sunglass case. Sadly, there's nothing in here, um, but it does have the Valentino logo inside. I have sold a few glasses cases from designer brands. I also got Versace. I have sold a Burberry one, I think, in the past. Kate Spade, not really luxury designer, but I sell them if I can find it. All right, some other accessories. I found two belts. Um, I don't normally pick up belts, but every time I get them in like a Thread Up Fun Box, they always do really well for me. Um, not for a lot of money, of course, but they will sell really fast. This one is, is this the, this one is from Brighton. Here's the, here is the name here. Brighton. I don't think this is gonna go for a lot, but I really liked the turquoise buckle. It's got some other turquoise details. It's leather, so it should do okay. And this is a size extra large or 36. And then the other belt I showed in the short, this is a fry belt. So it says fry and company, size small on the back. I mean, even if I get $20, that would be great. $15 would be great. It's a bins find, it doesn't cost me that much. I also got this, which is not something I would normally get. Let's see if I can find, okay, here's the brand. It's called Canada Pooch. And these are brand new. Uh, they've never been used, but they're like little doggy mittens, gloves, whatever you wanna call them, booties. Um, there's four in there, and uh, this will probably go for like 20 to 25, I think, from when I looked it up. I have three bags and then one more piece that should pay for the whole haul, so we'll do that last, of course. Uh, this is a vintage bag. I love selling these. It's been quite a while since I found one, though. It's like the sequin, the metal sequins, and it just flips down, and it's gonna be really hard for me to show you, I think, the brand. Maybe not. There's also something in here that I wanted to share with you. It's from Whiting and Davis, which is, I believe, a semi-local to New England company. I don't know what this is gonna go for, but it's so cute and so tiny. There is some tarnishing on the sequins on the back. It might be hard to see because, you know, they're reflective. But inside were two prom tickets for a junior prom. The theme was Davy Jones Slocker and it took place on Friday, May 9th, 1969 from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. Ellsworth High School, I don't know where that is. It was a dollar and 50 cents if you got a single ticket and three dollars per couple. They're very, very faded, but how cute. So this bag is at least probably from the 60s if it was used to go to prom in 1969. So I thought that was really cool. Then I also found a teeny tiny little coach wristlet. It's just a signature print coach. I don't know when this is from. It doesn't have like the placket or anything inside. It's a little bit dirty in there. Um, but yeah, maybe $20 on that. And then the last bag I'm excited about, and this will be another Depop listing for sure. Obviously I'll list it on my other platforms as well, but I think it will do best on Depop. This is a vintage Y2K era Dooney and Burke purse. 
It's got the little dongle here with the pink duck. It's white leather with the multicolor hearts. It's just a, like a magnetic. It also says Dooney there. And then again, on the inside, um, it's a little bit dirty in there, nothing too crazy. It does still have the little code on the tag on the side. It'd be hard for me to show you. Minor wear to the corners, just like a little bit of discoloration. But I don't know, I'm thinking maybe 40, $45 on this. But the real winner of this whole entire haul fits in the palm of my hand. It's this brooch. Um, I'm gonna pull up I think it's Nolan Miller is the brand. I had no idea what it said. I thought it said something completely different to be honest with you, but I brought it up on my phone or I tried to. Anyways, while we were at the bins, I have to scroll through all of my photos of things that I have to list. <laughs> um, but I looked it up when we were at the bins cause I have never sold a brooch before. Uh, yeah, the brand is Nolan Miller and I see a sold listing from December of 2023 for $69, hopefully the glare is not too bad, $69, and I found it. So I paid $55.10 for this whole haul. If I can get $69, $70 for just this tiny little thing, um, then I think that's pretty darn good. So um, it says Nolan Miller on the back and China, it's gonna be really hard to see but it's right here towards the bottom of the angel. But here is a better look at her. And she's in pretty good shape. So, and she probably cost me cents cause she's really little and we're at $2 a pound. So I don't know what I paid per item. I will try to leave it on the bottom of the screen for you once I go through and figure out how many items that I got to resell not counting uh, Liv's t-shirt. I only count the things that I'm gonna sell and then I get my average cost of goods per item. So that's it for my haul, guys. I mean, it wasn't the best bins haul ever. They haven't been for 2024, but hopefully that will change. I still think, however, that I will make a decent amount of profit on all of these items. I'm not super excited about most of them, which is unfortunate because then I usually take my time listing them. I haven't listed any of this yet. Um, but I still think I'm gonna do okay. Like the belts will be easy to list, the ties easy to list, the bags, it's the clothing and other stuff that's, you know, that I would normally skip in a traditional thrift store. That might take me a little bit to list, but as, as always, if you're ever interested in anything that I have shown you on YouTube and you don't see it in my stores, just reach out to me. Um, I'm always available via Instagram or email. My email's in my about me section. Please feel free to reach out. I will get back to you as soon as possible. But that's it for my haul. Thank you so, so much for watching as always. If you enjoyed it at any point, please give me a big thumbs up. Maybe let me know in the comments down below what your favorite item was. And otherwise, if you haven't already subscribed and you like reseller content, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here in my weird little family on the internet and I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.